Hello, it's Thursday night. It's eight o'clock. We're five minutes early tonight, but it is time for Zoom Day. And on tonight's show, we have our reigning champion, Zubra Patel. Facing him, fresh from Hyper, Stephen Reed. And in Dictionary Corner, a young man I know well, it's young Eddie Miller. Hello. And we have a silent James Rowan tonight, but we have a very talkative George Armstrong and a very capable Fiona Tickham. So welcome to Zoom Day. So yeah, I played the right music tonight. So Fiona, looking forward to this one? Very much so, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've been, been excited about this all week, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had we had two crackers the other night, yeah. Zuber. Those were brilliant games. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant games. I really love them. You know, young Jamie Wing just doing what he did against me and just the script. It's like we scripted it. We couldn't. We couldn't have scripted it any better. Well, so let's hope if you're more, listening, more if you're watching tonight, Jamie. Please. Yeah, exactly. So if you're watching Jamie, thanks a million for for your for providing great entertainment. And to Zuber, we'll come to you first. How were you after the other night? Did your did your daughters enjoy rewatching that? Yeah, so uh, they caught up with it in the morning, and obviously uh, they were a bit surprised, but obviously happy for me too that that won. So good. Good. Well, the chat wasn't there, but that's probably that's probably for the best. You don't want their 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 young eyes seeing the the chat, which can maybe blue. Everyone was very impressed with your poem the last time. It was it was really 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 good. I though. liked that. Yeah, it was really good. So. Thank you. Yeah. So. It's, uh, no, it was a good match as well, though, the match itself. Um, I think uh, Stephen was saying that 14 of the 15 rounds were drawn, so uh, such a tight match, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we might get some more statistics from your opponent tonight, Stephen. Who's... Stephen, tell us what you've been at today. Yeah, well, with um, Aptorus being down, I decided to occupy my time by taking all of the results from Zoom down from the wiki, putting it into a spreadsheet, throwing some stats at it and see what stuck. Cool, cool, cool. Have you got anything, any any interesting ones? We'll maybe get some later on off you, but give give us one now if you have one. Ooh, well, we've got um, George in uh, the call. We do. Uh, he is one of three people who managed to score more num- more points from numbers in a game than he did from letters. It was his second game. He scored forty out of forty on the numbers and thirty one in the letters. Okay. George is a good numbers player, but we'll not we'll not we'll not discuss his his letters showing on, on that game. But he is a good numbers player. So George, you're on the you're in the in the show tonight. So you're you're all ready to go. Yeah, I am all ready to go. If you are, Paul, I am. Well, we're just we're just going to come to young Elliot Meller first because Elliot, we're gonna oh, we'll be talking to you maybe at the end of end of round six. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> cool. Well, hope that's hope you're looking forward to that. I know I am. Yeah. And Fiona, so we'll get on we'll get on with the game then, will we? Yep. Let's crack on. We'll try this out, okay? Right, so, Zubair, take it away, our reigning champ. Um, yeah, can I start with uh, four consonants and three vowels, please? Four consonants and three vowels, please, George. All the best, Stephen. Come yeah, on, good, good luck, both. Yeah, all yes. the best, lads. Thanks. Okay, your four consonants are H, W, D, and M. And your vowels, E, O, and another E. Uh, another vowel, please. The vowel is a is an E. And uh, vowel, please. And a final. Hey, and that's zoomed in. How'd you get on? Just a six. Six, okay. And Stephen? I'll stick with the six then. 
Okay, so yours please, Zuber? Uh, meadow. Meadow, yes, and Stephen? And meowed. And meow, that's M E. Yeah, M E O W E. M E O. Yeah, both are valid. Were you thinking of something else, Stephen? Uh, yeah, edemai. You I can't think... have edemai, but the singular edema, O E D E M A, is the other six. Yeah. And six was the map there. And an edema is a condition characterized by an excess of waterly fluid collecting cavities or tissues. So not nice at all there. Old selection then, wasn't it? Okay. Well, six apiece. Good start. And it's Stephen. Your letters, please. Uh, can I have alternating consonants and vowels for the first seven, please? CV7, okay. CV7. Okay, and they are... H E S I R I and R and a vowel and O and um, a consonant. Okay, and the final N. And that's zoomed in. Try an eight. We try an eight. And Zubair? Uh, seven. Seven, which is? Ironers. Ironers again? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Stephen? Ironizer. Ironizer, okay. Ironizer is something I've actually attempted on Aptrus just before I went down, and sadly, it's not in. Go oh, unlucky there, Good Stephen. Stab. I was I was thinking that was quite plausible. Mm. So your ironers wins it, but what else was there, George? Uh, just another bunch of sevens, noisier, horsier, hoin hornier, shinier, <laughs> inshore, and an absolute ton of them. Is iron-ish valid, like iron with ish at the end? Can you have that? Uh, yes, you can, Elliot. Very nice. Iron-ish is there. Shinier was mine. Millions, really. Well, there must have been. Lots. Yeah. So, unlucky, Stephen. And your... Okay, so I keep going to flip over Apto, but we'll come to that later on. So, but anyway, it is round three, and that is Zubair's numbers, please. Uh, I'll uh, go with uh, one large, please. One large, okay. So, one large, please, George. Yep, come on up. Okay, your numbers are three, ten, and nine, six, five, and twenty-five, and your target. Quite convenient, nine, seven, five. <laughs> Yeah, 975. Stephen? Yeah, 975. Okay, so Zuber, your way, please. Yeah, so 39 times 25, 10 times 3 plus the 9 for 39. 10 times 3. 
times 9, 39, and times 25. Yeah. Okay. And Stephen? Yeah, the same way. Exactly the same way. So um, was there any LNAFP yeah. solution? What are you yes, saying, Elliot? Yes, there was. There was. <laughs> I got it. Have you found... Yep. Go for 9 it, and 6. 15. Times 5. 75 and then 10 add 3 for the 13. There it is, yeah, very nice. Look at that, nice. Very nice. Cool. Well, 10 points, lads. Did you gather any, any LNAFP in the chat tonight? Uh, the yeah, a few well, different, few different ways, there? actually, yeah. Uh, Toby's got it, Hazel's got it, so... Oh no, they've all done times twenty five. I do beg your pardon. That twenty five is very yeah. handy, wasn't it, boys? Yeah. Just and you could make the thirty nine from either end. Really. Yeah, it was yeah. Like, it was just, yeah. It was, yeah. All right. Okay, we are into round four. I don't have the the round number in front of me tonight, so I'm going to have to remind. <laughs> Okay, so we're into round four, and it is Stephen's letters, please. Uh, CV7 again. CV7. Okay. And your letters are S, E, R, O, L, I, and M. Uh, vowel. An O and a consonant. And a final L and that's zoomed in. Seven. And Zubair. Uh, seven. Okay, yours please, Stephen. Millers. Millers. Zubair. Yeah, same. Well, mine was Mellers, but I don't know if it's valid. <laughs> <laughs> we have one in We have one in the ring. <laughs> You'd hope it was valid, Paul, but sadly it's not. It's not. Oh, yeah. Outrageous. Oh. If Miller right, can't you? Can you? Yeah. There were two eights, Morellos and Morillos. They're ice cream parlors, aren't they? Different definitions. What were you saying, Paul? They're ice cream parlors, are they not? Morellos. And... Uh, a Morello. It's a cherry, Morello isn't it? Type of... Yeah, Morello. That's what I'm thinking. It's a type of cherry. Popular surname. Thinking. Popular Italian surname in the North of Ireland. Look that one up. Cream. A Morello. Okay, Morello. Very yeah, nice. it's, a, it's a kind of cherry. Very nice. And a Morello is the muscle at the back of the bull's neck. Mm. So you went to stab, are you? Yes, exactly, Paul. Okay, wow. One of the easier targets for them to get. Right. So, very similar words, very different meanings. Yeah, Connor got Morello's in chat. Very nice. Yeah, well, Connor nice would, one. wouldn't he? He would, yeah. <laughs> so. You think he'd eventually go rusty, but he hasn't. I don't know. <laughs> Right. We can't all be as good as Connor. No. I mean, if we leave him out in the good. rain, he might get there eventually. <laughs> right. And um, we're into round five. Zubair's letters, please. Uh, four consonants, three vowels, please. Okay. And your four consonants are T, C, X and T and your vowels O O and I um, vowel is it U 
and uh, consonant. And final. R. And that's zoomed in. How'd you get on? Just a five. Okay, and Stephen? I'll try six. Okay, you're five, please, Uber. Trout. Trout, yes. And Stephen? Uxoric. Uxoric. Uxoric, as in uxorial, but uxoric. Okay, George, what do we say? Are there any uh, sevens there? No, there weren't, Elliot. There were two sixes, but sadly, uxoric isn't one of them. Mm. Octroy, maybe? Is that one? Octroy is one of them. O C T R O I. Say that again. O C T. Yep. Octroy. That's one of them, which is a duty levied in some countries on various goods entering a town or city. Okay. The other one is tricot, which is a fine knitted fabric made of a natural or man made fibre. Tricot, trico. Well, I think, trico. yeah, I think trico is French to knitting, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. The example it gives is leotards being made of them. <laughs> Very I would imagine <laughs> it's <a trico. laughs> yeah, Sadly, yeah, no uxoric. So very unlucky, Stephen. So unlucky, Stephen, there. And the five, your big five takes it there, Zuber. Oh. Not often a five wins a round, but you'll no. take it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're into round six. And that. Numbers, please. Right. Uh, let's try six small then. Small, please, George, when you're ready. Numbers are nine, nine, five, four, seven, and another four. And your target. Quite healthy. Eight, eight, seven, and that's zoomed down. Zubair? No, uh, 886. 886, one away. So, Stephen, 887. Shoot. Right. Uh, 7 plus 4 is 11. Mm -hmm. Times 9 is 99. Mm -hmm. Times the other 9 is 891. Mm -hmm. And subtract the 4. And you have a 4 left over. Very nice. And maybe, unsurprisingly, with a high target, that was the only way. Well done, Stephen. Very nice. Nice solve, indeed. So Back in touch. Tightened up the scores a little bit. Now, so, the scores, 30, let me just make that a bit clearer, 35 to 33, isn't that right? Yeah. Point game. And we're going to go over to young Elliot Meller. Oh, yes. How have you, how have you been keeping? Uh, all right, I suppose. I mean, I'd like to be out there doing stuff, but, you know, I'm quite introverted generally, so it sort of suits me a little bit better than it might most. So Same with, same with myself, yeah, I know. I think <laughs> some of us cope better, yeah, so... You had an anecdote uh, you wanted to share with us tonight. Yes. Well, unfortunately, I've not led a very interesting life, and I'm not very good at writing poetry, but... You're going to have to cope with another interest of mine, which is longevity, which might be known to some of you. I tend to ramble on about it quite a bit. 
And one thing that I particularly want to talk about is the fact that when people reach a very high age, they tend to be referred to as having won the genetic lottery of sorts. And I wanted to do a little bit of analysis on exactly how comparable it is to winning the lottery, specifically in terms of we recently lost the world's oldest verified living man who was 112. So what I did was I tried to calculate his probability of reaching 112. So I went online, I went to the DWP, Department for Work and Pensions and Things, and they released a report in 2011, which detailed the probability of reaching 100 if you were born in a specific year. But it only went back to 1912. Hmm. So I had to extrapolate a little bit, but basically I got that a man born in 1908 had a roughly one in 500 chance of seeing his 100th birthday in 2008. Nice. And then you need to add 10 extra years and then another two. And basically, when you hit 100, your chance of seeing the next year is probably about one in two. And that kind of continues up to 110. So that gives you odds of making it to 110 if you're 100 is about one in a thousand. And then you need to add another two years onto that. And I couldn't really find definite data for that but i got it somewhere between about one in six and one in four if you're 110 and you're a male of seeing your 112th birthday so i kind of took it to be about one in five i know stephen will say that's not strictly between a six and a quarter but it's good enough for this purpose it's only an estimate and if you multiply all of them together you get basically a chance of a man born in 1908 reaching his 112th birthday as about one in two and a half million and I thought, well, it kind of seems a bit rubbish to refer to him as having won the genetic lottery when with most lotteries, your chance is far, far worse. With Lotto, it's about one in 45 million. So I tried to find something that matched it better. And one thing I was able to find is that about one person in every two and a half million, I got this from a YouTube channel, a rear gore comparisons, well worth having a look at anyway. About one person in two and a half million wins an Olympic gold medal. So what I would like to posit now is that instead of referring to people around this age as ha of having won the genetic lottery, we start posing that they have actually won the genetic gold medal instead. And that's the end of this anecdote. Very good. Very nice. Yeah, so they're ge genetic Olympians. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they have as much chance. You have as much chance of reaching that age. There was there was some well, being other that age now and being that age now I suppose yeah as starting yeah. in in nineteen there was some other yeah. interesting facts actually I found a few of them in case anybody wants them there's about a one in six hundred thousand chance of a quadruplet birth I suppose that's significantly increased uh -huh. if you're a female <laughs> uh, you've got about a one in six hundred and fifty thousand chance of being dealt a royal flush in poker. You've got about a 1 in 2.1 million chance of flipping heads 21 times in a row. But my absolute favourite is that you have about a 1 in 3 million chance of being killed by an alligator attack. Nice. It's rather pleasant for this programme, isn't it? But Very maybe good. we could start phasing this in. You know, when you hit a certain age, we assimilate it with some similar odds. So you could have your royal flush age and your... Killed by an alligator attack age somewhere around 112, 113 or yes. something. On with the show. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much, Ellie. That was most entertaining. It's, uh, I, I know a friend with it with a castle and a moat, but I suppose their odds of being killed, they don't have any alligators, but <laughs> their odds oh. of being killed are probably greater than, than those of us without moats. That, the <laughs> chat very yeah. much enjoyed that, Elliot. So yeah, brilliant. Very, oh, good, very yeah. glad. Very, very good indeed. <laughs> And this game is tight as well, so we're into round seven. That is Zubair's letters, please. Yep. Um, usual, please. Uh, four consonants, three vowels. Four consonants, please. please, George, and three vowels. A minute. Okay, T, N, M, N, T, N, M, N. I, I, I know the Chinese won't appreciate that, but T, N, M, N. And E, O, and A. Um, vowel, please. Vowel is in an I. 
and the consonant. Okay, and the final. T, and that's zoomed in. I'll stick with an eight. Stick with an eight, Stephen. I've been burned once many times. I'll stick with an eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> once bitten, twice bitten even. Yes. Okay. So you're eight, please, Zubair. Uh, nominate. Nominate. And Stephen? Nominate. You can probably see. Yeah, I can see. Mentation. Mentation is that, yes. Ment mentation. Mentation. Is, is it a word? It is a word. It's a word. Oh, no way. <laughs> It is very unlucky there, Stephen. That's I have in. To write this one down. What does it mean? Tell me what mentation is. The definition it gives in premium says mental activity. And then it just gives a quote the highest levels of human mentation. Mentation. <laughs> so it's just, just some. Just so I was thinking show, really. as well. Mentation. My word. No. Stephen. Yeah, Alex Go gives the same definition. Stephen, I assume you'd have gone with it if I'd have gone with it. Oh yeah, definitely. Did you have it as well? Were you thinking? Is that what you were thinking? Mentee. Yeah, I did it in down. But... Oh, okay. That does make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Well, exactly. You both, you both thought better of it, but I don't blame you. That's a silly word. So. Yeah, I'd have never got that. No, but we'll all be playing it next time we see it. Now. But anyway, <laughs> you know. Right, so we are into round, I'll just write this behind me, round eight. So that is eight. Stephen's number, or Stephen's letters, please. Uh, CB7. CB7, George? Yep. Okay, and they are R, O, N, E, V, another E, and S. Uh, vowel. An A. And a consonant. And a final. Nevison. How'd you get on there? Uh, seven. Seven and Zubair? Um, no, just uh, stick with a six. Which is? Reason. Reason. Okay, Stephen? Uh, novenas. Novenas, yes, that should be good. Novenas, George, yes. Yep, novenas is in. Mm -hmm. What's and a novena is a form of worship in the Roman Catholic Church consisting of special prayers or services for nine successive days. Mm -hmm. Catholics all know that. We all know there was <laughs> no novenas, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple of other ones. Over sea and in snare, some of the more obvious okay, so ones in there. No eight then, just the seven, okay. No, no eight, seven max. There was five altogether. Okay, so well played, Stephen. Okay, so 43 to 48. Into round nine. That is uh, Zubair, your numbers, please. Um, four large, please. Four large. Ooh. Coming up. Here we go. Could be the last one numbers pick of the series, so might as well. <laughs> Okay, so you're you're too large, or you're too small, or three and two. 
Uh, your, four, uh, your four large, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And your target? 424, that's zoomed in. Zubair. Uh, no, just uh, 425 not written down. Okay, and Stephen? Uh, 45 written down. Okay, so we'll go to you then, Zubair, please. Yeah, uh, 75 times 3 times 2. 75 times 3 times 2, 450. Take 25. 25, okay. I'll take 25, yeah, okay. 45. Stephen? I did 100 plus 50, it's 150. Times three minus twenty-five. Times three. Okay, and minus twenty-five. All right. Okay, so can I have a go? I, d I, uh, can yeah. I have a Did you go? get it? You've done yeah, one. Yeah, go on, Fiona. <laughs> go on then. You have to go instead. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking we want uh, two hundred and twelve times two. So that would but I be. I saw. I saw that. I didn't, Fifty I didn't plus it. three. Plus three, times, plus three. I've realised I've yeah. put in the numbers wrong here. Times um, 100 <laughs> over 25 times 2. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the way incoherency gave, well, that way and a load of other stupid ones <laughs> that go, you know, way too high. <laughs> well, you also yeah. saw that. I knew it was 212 times 2, and I just, I, I still, I can't, I just go blank when I see a four large, so I need to practice them. Mm. So I stop blanking them. Anyway, seven points, lads. Keeping it tight. Uh, 50 to 55. And we're into round 10. And that is uh, Stephen's letters, please. Uh, CV7, then. CV7, please, George. <laughs> okay, and they are S. E, another S, U, N, E, and another S. Uh, vowel. An I. And a consonant. And a final. And that's zoomed in. Seven. Okay, so yours, please, Stephen. Infuses. Infuses. And Zubair? Yeah, same. Same word. Infuses, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so was there anything else, George? There was. There were quite a few sevens in there. Mm. Sinews, which I saw Zubair also written down. Sinuses. Yeah. Funsies, mm. finesse. And then you can put the S on finesse for finesses, finesses. which is the only eight. Very nice. The verb to finesse. Okay, very, very nice. Anyone get that in the chat? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Alan O'Sullivan uh, wondered about finesses. Callum got finesses, so yeah. Well done, guys. Apologies if there was some background noise during that round. Somebody got out of the lift, and the lift is that close to me. <laughs> it's on the other side of the wall. Do bears four consonants and three vowels, please, George? Yep. Consonants. Ah. Uh, 
So L S B and G E A E Vau. Um, vowel is a U. And uh, consonant. And the final. Seven. Okay, and Stephen? Yeah, I'll stick with the seven. Okay, yours, please, Uber. Uh, leagues. Leagues, yes, yeah, Stephen? Sublate. And sublate, okay. Okay, they're good. I I've don't know what you're I've seen a falsy nine. Oh, I was thinking all about guestable. Guestable, I, yeah. I was, okay. I was thinking <laughs> tubages for eight, but I don't know if that's... Guestable, subleggate. Tubage is T U B or T U B E or T U B A. Or keep shouting out random words, I will tell you that seven is the max. Okay. There were quite a lot of them. Beagles <laughs> was the one I instantly spotted out of those first seven. And Telebus, which is a nice one, oh, which just means nice. either a bus <laughs> equipped with telephones or a bus that can be summoned by a telephone. Summoned by a D. Come here, bus. <laughs> Does you that mean that you can summon a bus oh. with a telephone that has telephones? Is it a teletele bus? <laughs> right, there are a lot. There. Sounds like the, the bus version of your Tesla, doesn't it? <laughs> there are 18 sevens in there. Yeah. Right. Rather, yeah. rather nice one with the eagle. So I quite like that one. Baby yeah, eagle. I've had that a few times in after since the opposite of legates. No gastable. All right. Okay, we are into round 12. No. Seven, is it? Uh, yep, CD7. R. N. A. And R. T. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Another A, I should say. T. I. And J. Uh, vowel. Is an A. And another vowel. And another vowel is. A final. <laughs> a. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen? Uh, five. Five. And Zubair? Yeah, measly five. Five. Okay, yours please, Stephen? Train. Train. Zubair? Yeah. The day we caught the train. Reading the chat with Damien's comments and all that's what made me th <laughs> had that song in my head yeah. all the next day. So, Or was it the, the days we caught the train, was it, Zubair? Yeah. Seven. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we were what all else was that out, George? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, I saw that today. So nothing else there, George. No. Uh, there actually was something else there. There was one lone seven. Can I no have sixes. a go? Can I you have can a go? You can have a go. You think you know the seven? Is it Retainia? It is Retainia. And um, Retainia is the root of the plant Retaini. How do you spell that? R A T A N I A. And Toby got that in chat. Very nice, Toby. 
Toby knows his words. That is the no. only thing that's above a five there. Well played, Toby. I'm Elliot. Okay, so... Uh, did I award scores there? Is that the scores correct? Uh, that's what I've got, so we're either yeah. both wrong. Oh, no, I've got 69, 74. Hang on. Yeah, 74, oh. 69. There's four through a trad on. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't give you your five. Yeah, sorry. 69, 74. Right, and we are into now round 13. Two bears. Letters, please. Final letters. Um. Yeah, four consonants, three rounds, please. Okay. Okay, and there. S, D, T, and R in your vowels. E, another E, and A. Um, vowel. There's another E. Um, consonant. And final. P, and that's zoomed in. How'd you get on? Uh, nine. Nine, Stephen? Uh, I'll try a nine then. Okay, so do you have it written down? Uh, yeah. Okay, yours please, Zubair. Desperate. Desperate, and Stephen? So not pre-seated then? Not pre-seated. I was thinking pre-seated. Pre-seated sounds like one of those words that would have a very firm uh, hyphen in it. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. George? Uh, I can have a look, but I'm telling you that uh, Desperate is the only nine in the selection. Well played. You can have reseated, But not pre-seated. But not pre-seated. Mm. It just looks like one of those ones that would be strongly hyphenated. No, nothing comes up from uh, premium. Oh, well done. Desperate, very nice. Didn't see that myself. They all get that in the chat, Fiona? Oh, uh, yeah. They did, all right, okay. Well, so that's moved you. There was a there, there was a predatease as well, which I guess <laughs> was a, a desperate attempt. That's, <laughs> that's very desperate, yeah. Yeah, that's Get very desperate. Out. I won't name names. <laughs> Go on, shame them. Go on, it wasn't. We're into round 14, and that is Stephen York. Last number selection, please. All right, let's try six small again. All right, six small it is. Oh, God. I don't know in a minute, everything is going haywire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we might have a bit of thinking time here, lads, but build up, the, build up the pressure. We have got. Okay, your numbers are one. Three and nine, four, six, and seven. Target five hundred and seventy three. That's zoomed in. Stephen, five seven three. Five seven five. Okay, Zubair. Um, no, five six seven. Five six seven. So seven away. So you're five seven five then, Stephen. Right. Uh, seven plus three is ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So I'm six. Uh, plus four. Four. Uh, times nine. I'm hoping he's five, seven, six. Times nine is five, seven, six, yes. Then take off the one. And you have a one left over. Yeah, you do. For five, seven, five. Okay, so that's probably be below, below the overlay, isn't it? I, I was wondering on how far do I go down below before the overlay cuts off? Because <laughs> we couldn't see your solve the last time. We couldn't. We 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 saw most of your solve out the last time the slash seven, but they couldn't see the actual resulting. I will. I will hide figure. the overlay so people can see. <laughs> so five seven three. Did Elliot? Did you, did you, was it possible even? Did um, get closer than. I Steve think. I, I think I've got it, but I'm out of time well, go on you can give it to okay, it. Go, for it. Uh, go for it nine times seven 63 times three and then four, eight, nine, four, nine. Min four minus one three multiply five six seven yep and add six very very nice and Excellent. just like the other six small that is the only way that is the only way very very nice indeed did anybody in the chat get that fiona um people are posting lots of um equations but i've not followed them through, so. <laughs> so it was Listen, basically that's get equation to they are wrong nine times seven. <laughs> well graham has put equals five seven three at the end of his so it's nine times seven times yeah, it's probably got, right yeah, he's certainly got plus six on there so nine times seven times three times <laughs> three times six no four plus one is five five seven three <laughs> oh my dad does that gotcha. when he watches along gotcha. and i'm one away and he gets it doing that i think you need to change the score me. paul i think you need to change the score i haven't done it yet no i haven't done it yet after the round anyway. Okay, so Wipe everything off seven points to Stephen, wasn't it? Which puts us into crucial territory. Oh, it does. Exciting. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, so one of you can explain that to the lads. We, they probably know the process by now, but I'll just turn Yeah, because Zero and Stephen have both been on before. You know, Paul will turn his camera on, then the music will start and just say buzz. And it's as simple as that now. Don't shout out the answer. Oh, it's, number, it's number one, Fiona, isn't it? Uh, yep. <clears throat> I do like it crucial when I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Zoom Down's fourth crucial in a row, isn't it? I see quite I a like, lot of them. I like them when Jamie it's, Wings play and they're kind of good. It's the fourth in <laughs> one in Zoom Down history. They're really good. Right, so. Let's see where I am. Our very best of luck, gentlemen. As we reveal today, Zoom Down conundrum. Oh, Paul, I think, <laughs> I think you posted the solution and I was, I was, I was I looking at that for a while, like, it's not got any right, scrap that one, give me one second. Well, <laughs> <laughs> would anyone like to guess what the scramble was? <laughs> I was looking at myself going, uh, yeah, I can't see another nine, actually, no. Trout stem? Sorry? Stem trout or trout stem? Tutor stem. With that, as you're a tutor, yeah. tutor stem would be. Yeah. All right, so it's number three, then if you want to add. Sorry about that, lads. Very sorry about that. I wasn't thinking there at all. <laughs> I was just thinking I had a word to write up and I had it in my head and I, I wrote it down. <laughs> That's it. How have the chat taken that? Yeah. Um, they got it, did funnily it, enough. Did anyone get it? Did anyone, did Reece, <laughs> well, Reece, well, I, had, I had the right scramble, so yeah. Reese had a 10 last week, so he might have got it. I don't know. I assumed it was one of those ones where you have two words or anagrams of each other. Uh, yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> like a style of your analogist.
Well, that was vaguely amusing. I've definitely <laughs> written down this. That's going to make the highlights real anyway. We know that one. Okay. <laughs> make the bloopers. So it's number three, yeah? It's number three. Let me just check. Yes, that's not a word. <laughs> so again, gentlemen, very best of luck. I'll try and get it right this time. So as we reveal today's real Zoom Down conundrum. Buzz. Stephen. Lockboard. Is incorrect. Rest of the time goes to Zubair. Um, buzz. Roadblock. Yes. Is it Roadblock? Oh, well, well done. done. Well, well done. Played. Very well played. Thank you. Whew. Love a crucial. Love a crucial. That was very well played, lads. Very well played. So commiserations, Stephen. Hard luck. Unlucky, but... Stephen. Yeah, very unlucky. Yeah. I thought, I thought... Do okay. bear the march goes on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a good solve that Zuber. Beat very me good to good it. Very mm. You got Elliot worried very. there, look. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, Is this a two win now, yeah, for Zuber? That's brilliant. Oh, well again, George? Yeah, because he'd be well easy. So ninety seven to hmm. What was your what was your stab, Stephen? uh lockboard lockboard yeah unlucky those these those compound ones yeah. are hard you've got black and, and horrible and, yeah no it's one of those ones it happens to me a lot i guess it as soon as i know it's wrong i see the answer yeah i think we all do that though <laughs> yeah but the worst ones are those compound ones where you get the two words correct but just in the wrong order yes yeah that is just the worst wood, thing. No. wood snake being my favorite i always guess wood snake, snake. yeah uh, fruit Jack. I was convinced there was somebody who was a Fruit I've, Jack. I've definitely been burnt a few times by brushwood or wood brush. I've definitely right. been burnt by that before. Mm -hmm. Bath water. Game, that's really good game. I really enjoyed that. Now, so it's been we had so many crucials, Fiona. So yeah, many. no, that was that was brilliant. And high drama there when uh, Stephen buzzed in. But... So Stephen, <laughs> you get to, you get to provide us with loads of interesting. Zoom down statistics. Now that's this is this is <laughs> kind of good. I mean, this is what you spent the day doing anyway. So maybe this is you know, this is a, you meant to be. Yeah, a, yeah I'm all, exactly. I'm already putting this one into the spreadsheet. Excellent. <laughs> 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 with, with a smile. <laughs> a grimace. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, very well done. I hope folk enjoyed that. And Zuber, your name stays up there. Get a rather famous one beside it now, okay? Buzz. <laughs> Price, well. Well, he's seen oh, off a series right. runner up. He's seen off a series champion. Let's see if he can see off a record holder as well. Killing Zuber, Who was so, the yeah. series runner up? Jamie. Jamie Wing. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I, forgot. I thought Paul made the semis for a second then. <laughs> I, I did, George. Every night I go to bed. I did. <laughs> Apologies, Jamie, if you're watching. <laughs> but it was funny. Yeah, it's. Just face, just the way things the work out. You can't control. You can't. You can't go backwards in life. You just can only move forward. It's all you can do. Mm. So, episode thirty-four. Thirty-four. Now. Now. <laughs> and we are going to be. So, you all ready to go, George? I'm ready. If you're ready, Paul. Well, I'm <laughs> ready. Zubair, Elliot, both ready. Good, good luck, luck Zubair. All the best, yeah, Elliot. Thank you. Best of luck, gentlemen. Okay, so Zubair, take it away. Um, yeah, I'll stick with the four consonants, three vowels, please. Okay, George, please. You no. Know? Your four consonants are G, C, another C, and P, and your three vowels, I, I, and E. Um, consonant. An L. 
and the vowel. And the final. E and that's zoomed in. Elias? I'll try six. Okay, so you're five, please, Uber. Peace. Peace. Okay, yes, and Elias? Gikli? I don't know how you pronounce it. G-I-C-L-E-E? -E. G-I-C. Yep, it's in. Just give me a minute to Ikli. touch that one up. It's, not, it's a new one on me, that. Well, then, yeah. New one on me as well. Yours was peace, Uber, wasn't it? P-I-E-C-E, -E, yeah. 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 It's the digital printing process in which an inkjet printer is used to produce a high quality art print. Oh. Gickly. So. Okay. Gickly. Is that is that like a is that a portmanteau of two people's names? Uh it does not say. It doesn't say. Premium. It originally from huh? the nineteen nineties from the French Guy Cli, which means to spurt or squirt. Gisley, probably, or something like that. Gisley. Gisley. Mm. I don't speak French. <laughs> but there are a few set sixes in there. Icicle being probably the most common one. Mm. That's when you Sorry, Elliot. Really well. And it is your letters, please. Uh, three vowels and four consonants, please. Okay. Coming up. And there are three vowels are, interestingly. God. <laughs> We? <laughs> Are you an <laughs> and four consonants. T, X, D, R. Uh, vowel. And an E. And a final vowel. Okay, and a final. Final E. Then. Well, then. Okay, so yours, please, Elliot. Etordi. Oh, does one spell that? <laughs> Etordi, how do you spell that? Uh, e T O U R D I E. You can see that one. Again, sounds very French, doesn't it? Etordi and, yeah, and, and Zuber too, News as well. Very nice. I, I'm assuming this is in if the two lads are playing it, George. Yeah, they are definitely correct, and it is the only uh, seven. I was eight. on outride. Eight, George. Eight, was, even. I was on outride. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the spelling that Lexico gives or Premium gives is actually a seven without the E on the end, okay. but a tordi with the E is valid. And an tordi is a thoughtless, irresponsible, or foolish person, especially a man. <laughs> okay. From French, is it? Uh, it's Ooh. not a from tordi. French. Oh, no. yes, it is from French. It is from French. Okay, good. <laughs> of course, it's from French. I think everything in this game is going to be it's from French. It's very wee 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 wee. I don't know how we can get French numbers, but I'm sure we'll find a way. Great eight, lads. Very good eight. Oh, lots of French letters. That, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say someone in the chat got that, Fiona? Uh, yeah, quite a few people did, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, well, I think Bradley Bradley a few it. times it's quite a common one, I think. The chat as well. me. So we're into round three, and that is Zuber. Your numbers, please. Uh, just, uh... Too large. Too large. Okay. Yeah. Too large, please, George. Okay. 
And your numbers are 10, 8, 3, and 5. And you're too large, 25, and a 50. And your target, 366. And that's soon done. Six six, yep. Three six six. And Elliot. Yep. Okay, so Zuber, you're up. We are way, please. Um, yeah, fifty k three forty seven. Yeah. Uh, forty seven times eight is three seven six. Yeah. Take away the ten. Okay, that's the ten. Very nice. Okay, Elliot. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that camera. Talk. Oh, just speak now. Yep. Yeah. Here. Okay, can you all see that? It's not going to him. Yeah, no, it's, it's pinned here. It's good. All right, okay, no, that's fine. All right, it was pinned to me. All right, okay. All right, very nice. Okay, so. Okay, so. 18 plays 24. Um, we're into round four. And that is. Elliot, your letters, please. Three vowels and four consonants, please. P, e, O, and A. And your consonants. T, 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 R. Um, vowel. And A. And we'll go another vowel. Okay, the final. George spotlighted there for just all I saw was George during that round. No, it's, a, it's all good my end. All right. So, Elliot, how'd you go? Six. Six. And Zubair? Six as well. Okay. Yours, please, Elliot. Rotate. Rotate. And Zubair? Yeah. Same rotate. Many rotations. Just yeah. speak. Yeah. That's yeah. Can you see it there? Rotate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got it. Rotate looked longer than there was nothing in there, but it's but a, a mean. No, there wasn't. Rotate. Six was the max. Uh, air rate, totter, tetter, mm. and t tar, t w -E t a r, which is? which is an Indian word for any of various partridge-like birds. T tar, okay. T tar. Okay. Sounds maybe on about a pig, because it? Partridge. Yeah. Like t -tar. Okay. Partridge in an I don't know what Indian trees there are. Does anybody know an Indian type of tree? Twenty-four to thirty. Tamarind. Five. A partridge and a tamarind. A tea time and a tamarind. There we go. Hey, Zubair, your letters, please. Yep. Um, four consonants and three vowels, please. Coming up. Mm -hmm. And they are P, M, S, and not L. It's M. And your vowels. U, A, and another U. Um, consonant. Uh, 
uh, the vowel, please. Um, try a seven. Seven, okay. And Ellie's? I'll stick on a six. I'll stick on a six, which is? Uh, Empusa. Empusa. E-M-P-U-S-A. Yeah. Okay. And Zubair, you're seven. Uh, I don't think you're going to be a spammer. Oh, yes. That's what yes. I thought. That was mine. Yes. Pretty sure you can be a spammer, George, can you? Can yeah. be a spammer. But there are two eights in there. I don't know, Fiona, if anyone in the chat's got them. Uh, Super Mum. Super Mum is one of them. Brilliant. That's br that's what Which is exactly well. what you think it is. Supermom. And if you swap the R and the E around for Super Mum, that gives you the other eight. Yeah, Callum got that as well, yeah. Which is a mathematical oh. term for the smallest quantity that is greater than or equal to each of a given set or subset of quantities. It's the opposite of an infimum. I think interestingly, mom's, super mom's the dad word. isn't in there because I think I tried yes. that once. What about Gran? <laughs> or is that copyright? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, super, super dad. Super Gran. Do you remember Super Gran? She was great. She well, was you great. and I probably remember her for <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't. Oh, well. Yes, no Super YouTube, Dad. YouTube. Get on YouTube. Super Gran's worth a watch. You can have Super Bad, but no Super Dad. Super okay, so seven takes it. Okay. Into a small lead, Zuber. 31 30, and we're into round six. Elliot, your numbers, please. Um, six small. Okay. And they are. Okay, and they are five, five, and four. Three, seven, and eight. And your target, 486. And that's Six, Elliot? Yeah, 486. Okay, and Zubair? Um, no, 487. Okay, so Elliot, 486, please. 8 times 7. Add 3. Take 5. And then 5 add 4 for 9. And multiply. Well done. Thanks. Nice indeed. Well yeah. done. Ten points. That was actually the first way incoherency gave. Okay. Very, very nice. Solid. Although incoherency doesn't always give the most straightforward one first. Were there any others in the chat, Fiona? Um, or was it, I think most or was people it 54 have times down nine? that route, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could do six, one, six, two times three. Yeah. Philip. Or 69 by seven, then add three. Yeah, I think Philip did the times three route. Okay, well, good yeah. job, Very well played. So, sorry, excuse me. Takes the lead back. Yes, that's what I have. Okay. And we're into... We're into Stephen Reed. That's what we're into. Yeah. While so... you've been busy playing the game, I've mm -hmm. been busy fiddling with a spreadsheet which has the details of all the Zoom Dam games that we've had. So I thought I'd share 
a little bit about the statistics involved. So uh, the average score for a zoom down player is 93.8. Is that good? <laughs> yes, it's very good. I had a look at um, series 81 of the televised show. The average score there is 74.8. Oh. <laughs> it gets even better when you look at the average losing score. Average losing score um, in series 81 was 54.9. The average losing score in Zoom Down is just about 83.9. If you're getting 83 points a game, there have been Octo Champs who have averaged less than that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's frightening. That's, that's, that's a very telling statistic, isn't it? Well, what does that tell you? What, what you what, statistics are, are only one thing. It's the, it's the extrapolation. What does it tell you? Yeah, it tells me that there's a bunch of people here who are really, really into competitive anagramming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nothing else, really. That yeah, we just we have what we have. We've but we've we've attracted from all all sort of all levels. I mean, it's not it's not just been the the elites. Oh yeah, we've been we've had first timers and old timers and sort you know things like that. It's been it's been a lot of a lot of yeah, variation. And, and um, I know you've tried to set the draw so mm. that games are competitive. Yeah, and that they're pretty close. Well we can see whether those have actually worked. Because a good a good metric of whether a game's competitive is whether it has a crucial conundrum. Mm -hmm. It's not a perfect rule, but it works. Mm -hmm. um, in Series 81, 20% of the games had a crucial conundrum. Okay. I probably here, see that statistic as well, having two. Yeah, here it's 42%. Wow. On Zoom down. Wow. wow. That last game with me and Zuba, that was the 14th crucial conundrum <laughs> in 33 games. Ah. Of those awful. 14, uh, four of them of the crucial conundrums went unsolved. Three of them, well, two of them were solved by the player who was trailing to win. Two of them were solved by the player who was trailing to force a tie break. And the rest were solved by the winner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of the two tie breaks, uh, one of them, the person who was trailing won, the other one they lost. Funnily enough, both winners of the tie break conundrum were called Jamie. <laughs> that tells <laughs> nothing about the stats of Countdown. It was. On Zoom Down. But it does tell us if you find yourself in a tie break crucial conundrum, change your name to Jamie. You'll win. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, then was that Jamie Wing and Jamie Rawson? Yes, they the two yeah. Jamies. Uh, Jamie Wing in his first game, and Jamie Rawson against Elizabeth Beer. Right. I think I think this tells us Paul's good at matchmaking. So you know, it's not just Paul. <laughs> come on, we have it. It's not just me. It's it's the lot of us. I mean, I, I sort of I, I put the seeds sort of together, but I mean, I, I shared them with you. I mean, it's that's the council that kind of decides who plays each other. It's, if you know, if you get a bad draw, Zuber. <coughs> Cough, cough. <clears throat> you know, it's not just my fault. Like, Zuber was, well, like, you, well, must, was well, like, you, must, you must hate me. Like, but he was like, I was like, and it's Stephen Reed and Elliot Mary. He was like, you must hate me. Like, <laughs> you know? Well, he's, so, he's, we don't. He's, we love you, Zuber. We love you, Zuber, and your poetry. It was brilliant. He so. took the lead and he's still in touch. So, yeah. Mm hmm. So, a bit like I said to Stephen on the hyper, I knew you were, you were able for it. You know, certain people you just know that they can, yeah, they can step up. So, that's um, but Stephen, yeah, those are fascinating, and I think we're gonna we'll get you back for season two as our resident <laughs> dato, and we can, because the statistics will pile up, won't they? They will sort of aggregate, and you get they'll be more meaningful. Yeah, I'll try and keep up with it. I'll pop the games in as they go, and that's then we'll great. see if there's anything more interesting that comes up. Well, it's great. I mean, the number of people are just volunteering and contributing and recaps and all that. So big, big thank you to everyone who who does that. That's 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 great. Because it's not that's not my forte at all, really. I can do this bit, but I can't do that bit. So, um, right. So we'll get on with the game then. We're into we round seven. Yeah. Close game. 
nine points in it and it's zubar your letters please um yeah um four consonants four three vowels please. yeah four and three george a minute huh. and they are l s v and n and your vowels e o and i um consonant Is uh, an S and a vowel, please. Final, final O when that's zoomed in. Nothing really, just um, seven. seven. Not written down. Not written seven. down. Seven, not written down. Elliot? Seven. Seven. So we'll go to you first, then, Zubert. Um, lesions. Lesions, okay. Elliot? If you can see, it's somewhere on there. Can at the bottom yet? Yeah, we can't. Yeah, yeah. You can't have oblesions, then. That's what I was <laughs> thinking you of. You can't have oblesions. No, there are quite a few sevens. Loonies, loosens, insoles. But there is a singular eight. I don't know if Fiona if anyone's got it in the chat. Obillions. Oh, Obillions. Yes. That's the one. That's that what was I was Ray thinking got of. That. That's what there, I was thinking may... of when I when I felt Obillions. I just I was like, it's <laughs> not a word. What is the word? Oh, Bradley got yeah. it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well played, Very guys. Nice. And and you're about to get a definition of which I don't know three of the words in the definition. <laughs> <laughs> the definition that premium gives is a point on the sagittal sutra of the skull in line with the parietal foramina. Mm -hmm. A yeah. bit of your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Along, that, that sort of, yeah, that area. Okay. Right, so that was a seven each, wasn't it? Yep. 38, 47. That's what I've got. And um, we're into round eight, and that's Elliot's letters, please. Three vowels and four consonants, please. Vowels are E, U, and E. And your consonants, C, H, L, and N. Vowel, please. Is an A. And the final vowel. A final. A final E. And that's in there. You get on? I'm going to stick on a six. Okay. And Zubair? Um, yeah, six. Okay, yours, Elliot? Unlace. Unlace, yes. Zubair? Launch. And launch. I just kept saying Eau de Chanel. That's, that's why I was <laughs> stuck on, yeah. but it's, there's probably something Greek in there, isn't there? <laughs> well, I don't know what you're risking, Elliot, but you were right not to risk it because six is the max there. And mm, uh, if you Greek can, you all. Launce, neutral, enlace, and uh, Nietzsche is another one, or a Nietzsche, which is a North American Indian. You don't have new feet. It's a Canadian term for a North American Indian, a Nietzsche. No, Nietzsche has the I, isn't it? Yeah. 
Which is maybe a word you're not allowed to say. Yes, it is a word you're not allowed to say. I should well, say. We're right to stick with the sixes, lads. So 40... It's okay, we've said worse words on this show. 40, 40, 40. <laughs> Let's have said many of them, Dave Rob Jones. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah quite a few sixes in there. A lot of obscure ones. Potty mouth you're champion not gonna he was. So. He'll definitely make the highlights real. And anyway, Dave Rob Jones will be a lot of, a lot of him. <laughs> okay. So we're into round nine. <laughs> And that is Zuber, your numbers, please. Um, too large, please. Too large, George. Coming up. And your four small are four, seven, five, and another five. And your two large are 25 and 100. Target. Two hundred and sixty-two, and that's Two six two and Elliot. Two six two. Okay, so Zuber, take it away. Um, one hundred, take twenty five, take seven. Sixty eight times four. Times four. Two seven two. And then you've got the two fives. Take off. I'd be questioning my my arithmetic there for a second there, but yeah, okay, very nice. And Elliot, the same way, yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, minus the two fives, all right, so. Yeah, harder than it looked, I didn't get it. I was, I was looking, I wasn't really trying, but I, I had a quick look at it, and I didn't, I didn't get anywhere near it, so. Was that the the popular way yeah, in the chat? Yeah, Home he came straight up with a different way, it was over four is 25, out of the 25 is 50, times five is 250, and then you got five plus seven is 12 to add on. Oh, you can add the 12 then. Okay, yeah, I see that. That's the way that came up with first, and there were quite a few different ones in there. Yeah, it looks oh, no. like they've got a few different ways in chat. Um, most have gone uh, Most have gone 75 minus 7 times 4 minus 10, but there's, there's a couple of different 54, ones. 54, 63, Fiona, yes? Huh? 54, 63, yes? Uh, Four, yep, that's what I've got. Okay, we're into round 10. 11. 10. Fog wanted me writing the, the score, the, the round number <laughs> on the board, but it's really for my own benefit. Anyway, so. <laughs> but glad you're availing. Okay, we're into round 10. Elliot, your letters, please. Um, Three vowels and four consonants. Your three vowels are I, A, and E. And your four consonants are W, M, P and S. Uh, vowel. An A. And the final vowel. And the final. Final E. And that's zoomed in. Seven. Seven. Two bear. Laughter is for seven as well. Okay, so do you have it written down? Yeah. Okay, so Elliot, yours, please. Map wise. Map wise, okay. See, I've seen that once, so I'm going to assume that's valid, yes. Um, um, yeah. Swampy. Swampy with IE. Nothing else, yeah, and okay. nothing else. So. Swampy. Is Swampy in, George? No. Well, that's good news and bad news. Mm hmm. 
the bad news is Swampy isn't in, no. sadly, Zubert. Oh, but the good news is Mapwise is in, and it's the only seven. And it means... In the manner of a map, as regards locations on a map. Yes. Okay, that's exactly so what it's... it is on the tin, yeah. It's Ron Seal, isn't it? It's exactly what it is on the tin. Right. And there are only two sixes in there as well. Waspy, a common aptracy word, and yeah. Pesewa, which is a monetary unit of Ghana. Yeah, S A W A, wasn't it? Yeah, Pesewa. Well, there, yeah. there were there were a few uh, a few swampies in chat as well, and Mapwise um, mm. from from quite a few people too. I, I bet Chris Marshall was one of them, was he? Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's there. To be fair. Okay. Yeah, swampy as an adjective is in, but with the Y, and you can have swampier and swampiest as well. Probably the waspy that you were thinking of, wasn't it? You think maybe we can do the same with it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, 16 yeah. minute nod. Of, is, yeah, is there, but just for the Y. Round into one, round 11. Zubert, that's your letters, please. Four and three, please. Four and three, George. Four consonants and three vowels. And they are. S A B and A. Um, vowel. Vowel is a is an O. And um, bit of vowel. And the final. Final I. And that's zoomed in. Um, Risk of six. Risk of six. Elliot? Six. Yours, please. Four keys. Four keys. Okay. And Elliot? Neosia. Neosia. That sounds a lot of syllables for a six. Neosia. <laughs> it's N E O S I A, is it? N E O S I A, yes. Neosia. What was yours again, Zuber? Four keys. Four keys. Right, I'm going to have to do it again. The good news and the bad news. We know which, which way it's going to go, George. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Zuba. Okies <laughs> isn't in, but Neosia is. And. Well done, I yeah. knew something. Thanks. It is the Neosa pine, which is a type of tree. It's just a, oh, it's just a sort of a, for an affectionate name for it. The new, so it's an oaky, an oaky attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the oak. Hey, yeah, them oaky trees exactly. up there. You know those ones, yeah, the oakies. Yeah. You can have oakies without the A in as a five. Well, that's in there. Or you but, can have oakies, O-U-T-J-I-E-S. I think oakiest is in as well. All right, all right. Cool. No yeah. one's yeah. in now. <laughs> 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 I, I, I thought you were a brave man on... picking five vowels against Elliot. <laughs> I know. I, I thought that just as soon as I these sixes mean. Like, just looking at them, I've never seen any of them before and I wouldn't get any of them. Stephen's going to get some beautiful in... stats on sixes now. That's one for us, so. There's a nice one, Noakes, which is, you know, like the uh, former Blue Pre Pleater presenter, John Noakes, no, which is know. a Canadian term for a fool of a simpleton. Okay. Not at all like John Noakes. So, 54-76, Fiona, that's the score, is it? Yeah. That's what I thought, yep. Yeah. All right, okay. Not over yet. Don't over Zed Zubair. Mm -hmm. Round 12. Elliot, your pick, please. Uh, three vowels, four consonants. Okay. Your three vowels are A, U, and O. And your consonants R, D, L, and Y. Uh, vowel. Uh, 
and Deval, please. Final. <laughs> Final A in that zoomed in. Six. Six. And Zubair? Um, yeah, six as well. Okay, yours please, Elliot. Uh, Dolor. Yeah, Dolor. Okay, and yours please. Same. Zubair. Dolor. Dolor. Yes, I see it there now. Okay. Dolor. D-O-L-O-U-R. It was mine. So was there anything else, George? Yeah. Dolor was one of four sixes. Dowerly, Adoral, and Rajula are the others. And a rajula is a zoological term to do with a mollusk. And in a mollusk, it is a structure of tiny teeth used for scraping food particles off of a surface and then drawing them into the mouth. But I wouldn't have seen any of them, to be fair. I was stuck on fives. Oh, dear. Yeah, odor. Yeah, I saw Dairly, yeah, Dairly. Yeah. Royal allowed. There's quite there's a lot of Dairly in that. Dolor, okay, so we're into last letters round, please. Um, Zuber. Yeah, four and three, please. Four and three. They are your consonants are T. T F T and your vowels? O, A, and I. Uh, another vowel. Another O. Um, consonant. Apologies. Is Uber at final Z? Seven. Seven, okay, and Elliot. I'll stick with six because I haven't got a seven. Okay, which is <laughs> neither tattoo. <have> I. <laughs> tattoo. Tattoo, okay, tattoo. <laughs> tattoo, very nice, yes, yes. And the bear. Um foot tit. <laughs> oh <what? laughs> <It's like a laughs> There was actually a teacher at my school called Foot Tit. There you go. <laughs> Foot Tit. There's nothing wrong oh, with foot tit in your name. <laughs> I hope the girls are in bed now. Anyway, that's all I'll say now. That's but, uh, okay, so yeah, I don't two. think I need to explain what's going to happen now. My little girl, my little girl Eleanor, has been going around. She's had a tattoo. A tattoo. She's been a tattoo. It's a tattoo. I have a tattoo on my arm all day. Yeah, nice. uh, tattoo is the only six there, okay. and there's actually oh, only an one spot. You a foot. A foot. Not a foot. Other than that, it was just balls. Not a foot. Tip. Just a foot. Okay. I'm too far behind just oh. to match. Also, weirdly, that was the second time in this game we've had three T's in the same round. Oh, yeah. The we have to stats. look at his algorithms, I think, now, won't he? Maybe take those mm. T's out. So, yeah, that gets you across the line, Elliot. Well played. There's still two. There's eight T's in the pack. Are there? Right, okay. Because on this program James has written, it gives you at the end all the consonants and vowels that came out and all the ones that were left. Rather clever, isn't he, James? Coding all these. Clever. Yes. Oh, he they're is, clever. Yes. He just whips up an old program to sort of replace after for us, which is kind of clever. 
So there were two left in the pack and six came out. No be, no counting cards, lads. Don't be counting cards now. Or maybe more so, came out of there now. Right, so we're into round 14. Uh, Elliot, your last numbers selection, please. Um, One large, please. <laughs> one large. Coming up. And your smalls are seven, eight, four, seven, five, and your large one is 25, and your target, four hundred and sixty-nine. That's soon down. Elliot? Yeah, 469. Blue Bear? Yeah. Okay, so Elliot, show us your way, please. 8 had 4. 9 had 3. 7 had 3. 8 had 7. And multiply by 7. Uh, did 25 times 5? Take 8. Times 4. I've got 7 over 7 for the 1. Nice. 10 points. Very nice, guys. I'm assuming there, wasn't like a, it, assuming there wasn't an LNAFP solution on that. There one. was, Paul, if you'd like it. Ooh. Ooh, did anybody in the chat Thank get you it? Thank more, more to the point, George. Did oh, yeah. anybody in the chat get it? It first? looks like Callum got it. Um, oh, Callum. I haven't checked right. his maths, but... <laughs> well, did not know you his maths? <laughs> he's done... He's <laughs> well, done... Doable, Fiona, so he's probably got it if you want to give yes. us it. Okay, he's Go done on, 8 then. plus 4. <laughs> Is that what Elliot did? That's what I did. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hasn't, no one's got the no one's got that LNAFP solution then, okay, George? Well, there was yours. one if you want it, Paul. Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay, seven times five is thirty-five. Mm -hmm. no, Eight Cal times four. Callum has not used the large. Oh, has he got it a different way? He's done eight plus four. Yeah, that's but, what Elliot did. Did Elliot not use the large? That's no. right. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Oh. There we go, then. <laughs> All right, what did he do? 8 plus 4 is 12. What did he do then? <laughs> the same Both as Elliot. Same as Elliot. Elliot didn't use the large. Oh, you didn't. All right. <laughs> then why did you not say Elliot? Why you made us look stupid? <laughs> I'm, I'm, sorry, I'll, I'll declare, I'll declare next, next time. Okay. Next time. Next time. Next time. I'm sorry, I'll declare next time when I'm not yeah. using the large. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Through us all day. I just didn't even see you. That's right. I, I, I was, I was too busy dark. looking at overlays. Too fixed on what the screen <laughs> Yeah, we got zoomed down brain, man. That's all we got. <laughs> Very nice. My screen is just full of numbers. I just got uh, sidetracked. 98. Okay. Um, and Zubar was the same, wasn't he? Yeah? No, you got yes. what was Yes. So, same. so 70. Yeah. 70 to 98. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to turn off my camera and get ready. For the conundrum, I'm off. Yes, you are off. Yeah, we can't see you. Best of luck, guys. Best of your time. Yeah. Jim Elliot, you know what you're doing. Yeah. It's worth explaining. Yeah. Elliot hasn't done it before, so make sure you shout just, buzz. Elliot, just yeah, say buzz. Buzz, yeah. <laughs> Not even, blood, even, Paul, even buzz. Jamie was pulling a bit of a fast one, so shading it out. Like we prefer <laughs> if, if you wait and say, "I'm, I'll come to you." Really, that's that's the best way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Buzz and then have patience, my young putter one.
definitely written up a scramble. You've written up the scramble this time. I've, I've written up a scramble <laughs> this time. Yeah. Not well, not the solution. <laughs> it's like texting the person you were talking about. That isn't it, really? That's God. Because we ain't got another spare. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So best of luck, lads. Good luck, Zuba. Thank you. Okay. You as well. that to your list of unsolved ones yeah. can, I have a go? can you have a go yes is it monovular it's monovular very good well done well so done. you can put an asterisk and put your own name beside that one in, no, the, is, in the stats <laughs> is that one the ones that was newly added it certainly hadn't appeared as a conundrum when i looked at it not an ascension although area, yeah. although elliot did see it from dictionary corner last november and have you got? Is, it, is, it, is that your cat or something, Elliot? Is that... Yeah, Mar Marvelo. Marvelo's yeah. my very old cat. <laughs> I, I did. I, I did actually think Monovula. I thought I just made it up. So uh, yeah, that's the trick to doing ascensions now. Make a word up. It's probably right. Probably right. Yeah, I have that habit from playing a lot of goat. Yeah, it was I'm a bit of a sinker, but everything. I couldn't resist using the cat. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that was <laughs> crucial. Though. That's a good scramble. I was nowhere near it myself. Monovular meaning. Pro one egg having one egg something like we that. did we did test it on bradley and he got it so we kind of thought it was mm -hmm. solvable yeah well, oh yeah okay. you can work I'm, go I'm gonna get ribbed about that if you tested it on bradley he's gonna be ribbing <laughs> me about that <laughs> <laughs> that's 15 love to bradley there but he didn't get any of his conundrums so uh, yeah, you can you can say his his conundrum rate was what zero from four or something wasn't it so, <laughs> yeah yeah i'll be sure to remind him do 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 so that was a really good episode. I hope everybody enjoyed that. that yeah, was, that very was enjoyable, that. Well, good yeah. chat, good, good game, Zuber. Thank you. How did the chat go, Fiona? Yeah, I think everyone everyone really enjoyed it tonight. And uh, yeah, there was some good banter going on as well. So you can catch up with that tomorrow, Paul. Or you, yeah, you sit up till exactly. three in the yeah. morning when it appears on the YouTube. Oh, no. Yeah, it was too late. It was, it was the next day, the last time, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was pretty late last time, yeah. I don't know what happened that, yeah. But uh, yeah, because we, we must, I should explain, we were not using, we're not using Apto tonight because Charlie is updating the servers. And uh, Fiona, you were saying that there, um, there was money left. Yeah, I, well, I'm, as most of you will know, unfortunately, Phil Collins died um, yeah. much earlier this year. And he, he very kindly left uh, a donation to Apturus, um, which, which Charlie's using to replace the server with a, a sort of new beefed up version and uh when that comes up hopefully hopefully things will be stable and good and yeah. it was amazingly generous and, and it, it, it was it was very it was very good of him of him phil, phil was a valued member of the community it was very good of him to do that mm. i hope his name is i hope his name is added to many things now because his, his name should definitely live on in, in after us it's a very very kind thing to do and, i think it's such a, a such a lovely way to um kind of help your friends really you know you couldn't mm. you couldn't give all your apto friends something individually but to do something for the community i think is is just a really lovely gesture Shows very like, commendable yeah it's very I'm sure the community is very appreciative of it yeah. yeah and i hope hope charlie gets it hope charlie gets it fixed now we can get get we can get back to it it's uh but it was written with james's james thing worked very well tonight george i thought yeah, it was brilliant. So well done, James, for coming up with that. Some tricky, yeah. some tricky selections came up tonight, but I think that might have been the picking as well. The picking was a little bit attrition all times, but it, yeah, some lovely sixes there, Elliot. Some, lo the some lovely sixes we got. We got. I'm saying yeah. people have learned some new sixes tonight. Good, <laughs> mm. good. Yeah, the, the, and Zubair. It's got... always an implication watching Elliot, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. It's 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 brilliant. But man, you were living with him for for a long time there, so like, there's not many people you, do you that. You were so. ahead at one point. No, it's not yeah. often. Not often. That's that's uh, 
going to happen. Yeah, I, think, I don't know. Yeah. I think that's because I think... Uh, it, 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 it was well picked out that spammer. I was looking at the use in the selection. I just couldn't see anything. So it was nah. a good spot that. Yeah. But yeah, most people would get a news bleed if they took the lead against Elliot. You were cool about it as well. So no. Well, I, I never really look at the score anyway. I just sort of play around by around until I get towards the end or once you numbers flip. Otherwise. Well, you've been, you've, you've been brilliant, Zuberry. Absolutely brilliant. Like credit to credit to yourself and uh, we Zoom down. I'm very grateful. Your poem was fantastic the other night, and I think people really, we, really, really we, enjoyed. We need we need a few more of them poems. You should you should take that up while we're at home. Start <laughs> writing poems. You could publish them on that, just like yeah. John Carpenter yeah. has his quizzes that he publishes. You could start publishing poems. There's a new mixer that. for you there now, Zuberry. No, I think I think it was just a one off, really. As you say, there's. What was the line in it? You said that all these new hobbies or something, but nothing that nothing that sort of makes money or something like that. Nothing yeah, that pays the bills. All nothing that pays skills. the bills. Yeah. So we've all learned these new skills. Yeah. Are we still live on YouTube? We are still. We live. Are. Yes, we are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, what, everyone. What do you want to do? <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> I just wondered if we were still live. I generally switch off at this point. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're one of the third. Yeah. By the third. I know, I'm, I'm, a, a third. I'm a fake fan. You know, I, yeah. I, I'm such a fake fan. Paul. Two thirds of our fans love to stick around for the app for the post game chats and stuff like that. Well, you're, we, we you're try not to make it. Office drag was being admired, Elliot. It was compared to a '80s solicitor's office. <laughs> that that's that's all my mum's that she, mum has mum has a thing she just saves loads of documents and things and she just stores them all down here she's gonna, she's gonna read them all someday like yeah yeah mm. but, uh, well that was really good i really enjoyed that Stephen. did you enjoy that tonight yeah i definitely enjoyed that and today has given me three more pieces of useful stats go on Ooh. one informative uh one interesting and one funny oh the informative one, uh, Zuber, your uh, total of two wins and 297 points puts you sixth in the standings as it stands. Ooh. If you'd gotten the conundrum, you would have been fifth by virtue of having solved one more conundrum. Oh, is it being possible, that conundrum? I should like a less impossible one next episode, please. <laughs> yeah, Fiona, come on. Don't be down a bit for Elliot. Like, come on, yeah. Well, we couldn't go we, with coins, could we? You know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. The interesting one is that that last game had a max of I make it 117, which is the lowest yeah. in Zoom Down history. In Zoom Down history, all eight weeks. All 34 games. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny one, uh, you'll notice that I declared all three invalid words in my in my game. And Zubair declared three invalid words in his game against Elliot. That was enough to raise the average number of invalid words per game from 0 0.94 to 1.06. Oh, it's wow. like the R value for COVID now. We're over that. <laughs> Got to get it back below one, lads. Got to get it. <laughs> I think that was, uh, I think we caught those Rachel Perkins picks, those five vowels. Rachel was going, oh, this is, these games are the best I've ever seen. I love these five vowels every time. This is heaven. She, she's so picking, she, happy, Rachel. she's waiting for Estuarine to come out. <laughs> she has we'll for try next time. time. <laughs> yeah, she's been waiting. You could be waiting a long time for that one. So. But anyway, yeah, I think we'll, we'll leave it there, Fiona, will we? Yep. We'll, we'll, yep. Let, we'll let people get off and get... We don't wanna, I, if you leave it out till after 10, it becomes very late. Yeah. When you finish at yeah. about quarter two, it's nice. It's like the football used to be, the Champions League. It's <laughs> over about this time, and it didn't feel like you had to go straight to bed. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's no. been good. It's been good. Well, well that's good. Glad you well, enjoyed thanks, it. Guys. It's been, we, been really fantastic games. Really enjoyed it. We, yeah. uh, thank you to Stephen, and thank you to Zuber. You were brilliant. Both of you are absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And we'll see you on Monday then. Elliot, you will yes, not be will. party to who you will be playing. You will not be party to those conversations. So we'll, we'll have a we'll have a, a good old chat, and we'll we'll probably let you know probably tomorrow if we can if we can let it if we can get it yeah. sorted. But it'll be Cheers. maybe it could be the weekend. We don't know. Cheers. But plenty see you of time. Monday. Right. We'll say goodbye then. So thanks see for watching Zoom Down. Don't forget to subscribe, please, and tell someone tell someone that who knows Countdown that this is really good and they should watch too. So grow the grow the audience, okay? And we'll see you on Monday. Good night, guys. Cheers, all. Yeah. Cheers. Bye-bye.